What is up guys, this is Ram Overload here and today I want to show you what are five alternates to CCleaner. So in the past couple of years CCleaner was bought out by Avast and it, it kind of has had some privacy concern. It, there was also a hack that happened. So a lot of people have questions about CCleaner and are questioning whether they should use it or not. So if you are going that down that route and are not sure about whether to use CCleaner or not, even though it's a great software, but are you know have questions about their privacy or any other things, right? These are five different alternates to CCleaner that, in my opinion, are really good, work just as good, if not better, and are really well as well. All right, so the first one, let's get into it, is IOBit. So IOBit is, you can see over here, Malware Fighter. It's uh, they have a free version as well as a paid version. They're program is called advanced system care right um, right now they're on 15 depending on when you're watching this tutorial they might be on some later ones as well so they have clean pc with ai privacy protection data uh boost startup and internet speed right um what else they have they have a, a lot of features that um c cleaner has so they have like the speed up feature where it will delete all unnecessary files um, the privacy it'll delete all like the cache or trackers right um, just overall cleanup uh, for your computer so let's check that out and see how the application is so this is the iobit malware fighter right and you can see it's 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 similar to the advanced care system, but um, the malware fighter is kind of just a subsection, which I prefer is probably better than the advanced care. Um, I'm not a big so IOBit is not my top choice, uh, mainly because they do kind of try to put mal not malware but uh, bloatware on your PC. So if you're not careful and you press install without checking those two boxes it'll install like a random vpn and some recording software as well so you know that i really don't like that those kind of practices when uh companies do this but regardless of that they still have a great application um, it works really well and there are certain ads at certain places which i'm not a big fan of either but um then again it's it's free and it's it, it does the job so you can see the features over here, um, you know, smart scan, full scan, custom scan, browser protect. Um, it, it is kind of annoying on the browser protect because uh, almost everything I download, it, it'll come with, with like a huge notification on my desktop saying, okay, this file is saved, this is not, which, you know, depending on you, it might be good for you if that's what you want. But for me, I'm just, uh, it's not something that I would personally go for. So. So that's the first option, IOBit, right? Um, not the best option, but, um, you know, one of the good ones. All right, the next one is Wise Cleaner. So Wise Cleaner 365 v6, uh, clean up your Windows PC stably and securely with just one click. They have the usual memory optimizer, duplicate finder, and then they have their cleaner, right? Um, in, in my opinion, this is a lot better than the one we just saw. So let's just look at the software here. Wise Cleaner 265, I have version 6.1.7, the free version. Um, you can see over here, System Cleaner. You can clean uh, based off software paths, application types, common, well, that's the registry, and then Common Cleaner and a more advanced one. Big File, that's a pro version, but you know, um, if you're not using that, that's fine. You can just stick with the free features, which, you know, most that's what most people need. So help Windows find, uh, help find, help files of Windows, uh, wallpaper files of Windows needs more space. So, yeah, I don't have too much space. Uh, four items have been found. It'll almost save 800, slightly above 800 megabytes. So, you know, it definitely is helpful and you know I, I i believe wise cleaner does do a more in-depth search than the previous one i showed you the iobit one so this one definitely better in my opinion so system tune-up defrag you know you don't want to defrag if you have an ssd um it just it doesn't really do anything and it's it lowers the lifespan of an ssd so just keep that in mind if you have an hdd then you can defrag that 
sub registry defects, startup menu. Um, so just basically uh, applications that run on startup, you can disable that, um, whichever one you don't want to run. So privacy protector, this is a big one, privacy eraser. Um, I, I really hope privacy eraser would have been a free feature, but it's a pro one. But nonetheless, um, it is available. And if you are willing to pay the price, I think it's definitely worth it. Disk eraser, um, file shredder, password generator. Okay, that's fine. So yeah, that's uh, wise cleaner. You know, it's definitely um, a great tool. Uh, a strong alternate to CCleaner, in my opinion, and it's, you know, it should be probably one of your top picks as well. Okay, moving on, the next one is called Previsor. Okay, so that's a free PC cleaner and privacy tool. It removes unwanted traces of your past activities. You know, this is a more simpler application, right? Um, it's geared more towards privacy, in my opinion. So let's open it up right here. <clears throat> so you can scan in depth, right? Uh, you can see the, the whole UI is a lot more simpler as well because I don't believe they have a paid version. Um, okay, they have a donors version, which, you know, it, it's, it's kind of just if you want to donate, but most of the features, if not all, are available as a... Um, free version, free user. Uh, I, I believe I just seen there was like one feature that was one or two features that were for donors, but it wasn't even like major features that I would probably consider, I guess, paying. But in, in this sense, it's not paying, it's more of like donating. So yeah, you can see the whole UI is a lot simpler, you know, um, scan in one click, right? Uh, specific traces, delete without traces. I, in my opinion, it's more of like a privacy tool. Um, and it, obviously it does do cleanup as well. So um, this UI may not be for everyone. You know, I know people that would not use this simply because of the way it looks. And even though it does a great job at what it claims to do, um, it's just not for everyone. So next is gl Glary Utilities. So they claim to have awards from CNET. So let's look at their products. So let's just open up their tools and go through that. Oops, that's wise care right here. So you can see over here, startup manager, and then you have the uh, same feature, disable the startup, registry repair, disk cleanup. <clears throat> so you, it, you guys probably noticed that most of these tools have the same exact software. Um, I sorry, no, I don't want to close it. No. So they have the same exact, um, not software, same exact features when it comes to things to clear out and, um, you know, for privacy trackers to remove. And the thing is, it, it's just only so much that you can do. So it is kind of doing the same thing over and over. They just have different ways of doing it. Some have better UI themes, you know, this may not be for you. The other one might be, and it's perfectly fine, whichever one you choose. So this cleanup, you know, it tells you the places that it's looking at to clean it up, right? And you can select specific other ones like remote desktop is not. And, you know, you can just start cleaning if you want to remove it. So I'll keep that for now. And then you have the contacts menu. So in my opinion, this Glary software is, is uh, utilities is slightly slower in my opinion than the other applications so when i click it it's it usually takes like a couple seconds to open up All right and i mean i know behind the scenes is probably loading the data or analyzing something but you know it, it would be better if they just open up the application and put a loading sign than me having to wait and for it to come up after a couple seconds so yeah, but um, regardless, you know, that shouldn't be something that would make you decide whether to use this application or not. It's more about the features. So you can look at the advanced tool, disk cleaner, registry, duplicate files finder. That's pretty cool. I know a lot of them have it and it's, it's really useful. Optimize, defrag, memory optimizer, startup manager, privacy. Let's look at that erase trackers, um, files undelete. 
um, file shredder, file encryptor. So you can see it's it's pretty cool in terms of the features that it um, provides, right? Especially in the free version, um, it, it's definitely something you should look into. All right. The last but not least, <laughs> Bleach Bit. In my opinion, this is my favorite one. Um, it's a lot more simpler than the other ones. You know, this might not be for everyone, but in my opinion, it is my favorite simply because it is open source and it is also completely free. All right, so you can see the features here, delete your private files, multi-platform, it's on Linux and Windows, so that's good. Free of charge and no money trail. Um, what uh, so on so on so let's just open it up and see what we get so here it is bleach bit and you can see this this ui is a lot different than the other ones we just mostly seen right a lot simpler right you can, and it's it's just in my opinion it's a lot easier to use when um you're selecting the things you want to remove. You know, this might not be good for beginners because you're not going to really know what you want to remove. And you rather just press like one button for it to remove whatever it thinks you need to remove. But, um, you know, I, I kind of like this better. Um, I can just select whatever I want to select and then you can do, pr well, let's just do, well, not Discord. Um, let's do, I don't even know what. Let's do Windows Media Player. I don't even know if I have anything. Okay, so yeah, there's 638 bytes that can be deleted from this uh, from my Windows Media Player cache, which you know is really nothing because there's only one file there. I never really use it, but yeah, you can see this. Um, basically, that's how it works. You just select what you want, and then you can preview it and then clean it. So. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. You know, in my opinion, this is my favorite one, Bleach Bit. But if you choose any of the other ones, you definitely can go wrong. Um, then again, that's only if C Cleaner is not, you know, what you what you used to think it was. You know, you're more concerned about the privacy concerns as well as their, um, you know, they've been hacked as well. So you're just your information and, you know, being bought out by a big company like Avast definitely, in my opinion, um, could definitely lower the quality of the software. You know, obviously it could help it as well, but you know, big companies are, especially antivirus companies, are known for bloatware and data tracking. So that being said, I'm not saying they are doing that, but you know, there have been concerns of that. So that being said, um, these top five recommendations are um, a great alternate to that. So that's it for today. You know, let me know what you guys think. If you guys like this list, if you have any other softwares that you guys recommend, leave it down in the comments below. Other than that, make sure to like this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.